everybody. This is Dustin Prayer, founder of Giant Rocket Ship. We um, today we are going to focus on how to use tickets for projects, um, and this is actually kind of relevant. We're working through some uh, a, a, an add-on in Rocket Ship where you can create dependencies between tickets for smaller projects. But the question that has been asked is, can we just use tickets just in general to run projects? Now, the issue with Autotask is the project module is powerful and it's great for billing and associating um, activities with milestones or other types of contracts. However, it's kind of tedious to use it. And what I found is it is nice to break out and use tickets for really small projects and then use auto test projects for the larger things, particularly milestone based projects. So what I'm going to do today in our auto test office hours is review how I would manage a project with multiple tickets. And so the key idea here is that you're going to use the uh, parent child relationship between a problem and an incident ticket. And so we're going to kind of steal um, the ITIL association uh, parent child tickets when it comes to problems and incidents and use those for projects. And then we're going to create a special queue for that. So again, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to create a relationship between tickets and then we're going to use that managed projects. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to have a special queue for our project tickets. And so I'm going to go to service desk. And before I get too deep, let's make sure I'm sharing my screen. I am. Before I get too, um, uh, too involved in um, setting up those relationships, I want to build out that, that initial queue. And so this is just the random queues that I have currently. Let's go ahead and build out a queue that's going to house our project tickets. And now we have a queue where we can keep these things nice and clean out of our help desk. One of the, well, the main difference between a project and a help desk ticket is a help desk ticket is a transactional activity. Um, it comes in, it's reactive. Uh, you process it, you close it. Projects, on the other hand, are more scheduled um, and they're less reactive, right? So we don't want to mix those two. The whole purpose of queues is to keep different categories or types of tickets separately. And then the next thing we're going to do here is we want to um, we want to uh, create a special category for our project tickets. Now, what's nice about these ticket categories is again, it can really control billing. Um, and uh, the other things that you're going to see it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have two different categories. We're going to have a project, um, a project ticket, and then um, we're going to have a project task um, type. And value must be for the ticket type. Um, let's do this. And a. Uh, Remember the 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 top level, the parent is going to be the um, problem type. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to have a project task. Again, we don't want to overcomplicate this. We we would not want to use this for um for complicated projects. This is for those projects where you have like three or four computer deployments, right? And you want to manage it a little differently. And so actually what we will do here is um, custom. Bada boom, bada bing. So now um, it's always gonna be a incident and we'll do the same thing for the project ticket. Um, and let's just call this um, the uh, project, right? And so uh, ticket type, let's go ahead and exclude everything that is not problem. That way, again, this is the power of um, ticket categories. That way we, we really can't make that mistake. And I still miscode this. Right, so now we have a queue and we have two ticket categories. These are the screens, definitions of what you can see.
And now what we're going to do here, and actually let's let's go another a step, right? Again, always kind of diving back, back in. What can we take away from our technicians so they don't have to think about it, right? And so thinking through this, oh, okay, well, if it's a project ticket, we have a queue for it. Well, by golly, why don't we just go ahead and uh, make it the project queue, right? And there's no purpose of ever having this in anything but the project queue. And so we're not going to allow um, any deviation from that standard. And what's really powerful here, again, you can have project roles, and then you can force those roles here, right? And so what we're going to do, project task, uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's force this into the queue where we want it. And so we're going to choose project. And let's do custom. And let's go find that projects. And here we go. OK, this is going to make it nice and clean. And so let's open up another tab. And let's see what this looks like, right? So we're going to create a, um, a project task. And uh, so what we want to do here is we want to say, oh, this is a project. ABC, right? Um, now, obviously, you'd want like a little speed code here um, to make this easier, uh, but it's, it's whatever. Let's just say that we're doing IT hardware. Let's say that, I mean, this is where you could do some really powerful work with the ticket category. You would restrict what it can do here, right? And let's go ahead and save this puppy. Now, Depending on how you want to go about this, you could restrict the ticket category so that you could only have the project manager role for this project ticket. And um, so the next thing is we want to All right, so the next thing that we want to do here is to, um, we could duplicate this so that we can not have to recode everything, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy. Then we're gonna change this to project task. And we're gonna let, uh, let's do what it wants, right? And actually, I just made a mistake here. Right, we don't want to copy. We actually want to go, and this is the power of making this a problem ticket. Watch this. We're going to go to incident, and we're going to say new incident. Right, it's going to automatically associate this new task. Watch this with the project. Right, and so um, just waiting for auto task. That's coin. Okay, so the next thing we want to do here is we want to have another incident. Let's call that task two. So this would be computer one, computer two, computer three, right? And again, we're going to make sure we do a project task here. And we're going to wait for auto task. And then we're going to say task two. And so now, um, and we in our ticket category, we almost definitely want to preset these. Like, obviously, you don't want to be manually setting all these fields every single time. Um, and so now we have our project. And again, in the ticket category, what we'd want to do is we'd want to restrict our roles to our project manager or service coordinator role. And then here, we would restrict these roles to only our project billable roles, right? Project billings, fixed fee roles, um, or uh, perhaps a special hourly role for your network engineers that is only used for projects. That's um, how you would do that. Now, in terms of actually viewing this, um, pretty easy, right? So what we want to do is we can create a new board. And um, I, we'll create a little test one. And for our widget, let's go ahead and say tickets. And let's do a gauge. Um, I 
you know what? Let's make this easy. We'll do a grid just so that we can see what it looks like. I like gauges because um, we want those to go down to zero. But what we'll do is we'll do a grid view instead. And this is um, open project tickets, right? And so what we want to do, let's just hurry up and pick some stuff for you guys real quick. And ticket type and title. And I don't see ticket number, and that's okay. We'll worry about that another day. And so for our filters here, we're going to say all. Um, you could do it by Q, or you could do it by um, category. If it nope doesn't let me do it like that. So ticket category equals to project, and obviously status not equal to complete. Play data based on, um, we'll just go by account. That's okay. It doesn't really matter here. And so now we're going to have, um, and obviously you could have all kind of stuff here, right? Um, and I grouped it instead of having it um, vertically, I mean, horizontally as columns. I just kind of grouped it all together there. Um, but you would list this out as your project tickets. And again, what, what you want to do here is you want to make sure that you're maintaining that problem incident relationship at all times. That's how you understand where you are in the project and the relationship between them. And so uh, let's go take a look. This is a project ticket. And if we open up one of the incident tickets, the project task, project task, incident, and associated problem, which we have agreed here is gonna be our parent project ticket. This is in fact the parent project and this is our project task as a ticket. And so now we can manage these really small projects using the power of the service test module and auto test. The benefits here are it's easier to get your head around and you know, auto task at its core is a help desk and billing system. And so almost all of the really powerful features and the ease of use is in the help desk module. And so now you have the ability to manage these small projects using everything that you're used to, all the power of the workflow rules. Um, because let's be real, the workflow rules for tickets is much more powerful and flexible than the ones for projects and project tasks. You get all those benefits um, and it's very easy to use. And so now you have a much simpler way to manage projects or at least small projects and auto tasks. I hope you found this helpful. Again, Dustin Purrier, Giant Rocket Ship. Thank you.